2023 gave the box office some of the most high-octane action performances in cinematic history. Think of Tom Cruise riding a motorcycle personally off a cliff and into a parachute drop. Or how about Keanu Reeves as John Wick tumbling down an endless flight of stairs after firing shotgun shells loaded with dragon's breath in one of the most cinematically, beautifully choreographed fight scenes I've ever seen in a movie of all time. So, who won the People's Choice Awards for the best action star of 2023? People's Choice is... Rachel Rachel Zander! What in the actual fuck? Well, folks, welcome back. Another great day here at Valiant Renegade. It's good to see everybody out there once again. And if you are like one of the many watching this video, not yet subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and turn that little red subscribe button to gray. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Share this sucker out on the social medias. And of course, please do leave a comment before you head out the door today. Make sure to join us every Sunday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern right here for the live show. Now, I want you to stick with me on this one, folks, because this isn't just a simple matter of Rachel Ziegler winning the People's Choice Awards. I think there could perhaps be a deeper issue here, so watch the video all the way to the end. In the category of Action Movie Star of the Year for the 2023 People's Choice Awards, the list of nominees are as follows. Brie Larson in the Marvels, Chris Pratt, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Gal Gadot, Heart of Stone, Jason Momoa, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, Keanu Reeves, John Wick, Chapter 4, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1, and Viola Davis, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, along with Rachel Ziegler, who took the award for her lead performance also in The Hunger Games. For so long in this business, I didn't think I fit in, but tonight you have made me feel like I don't have to change myself to be chosen. The first thing that jumps out at that list is that it's very even keeled. Four men and four women were nominated for this award, probably because that was by design. I find it interesting that a supporting actor was nominated for that as well. Viola Davis for Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And you have to ask yourself, well, if that was the case, then why didn't we also perhaps nominate other supporting cast members? People like Hiroyuki Sonata from John Wick Chapter 4. Or how about the incomparable Donnie Yen, also from John Wick Chapter 4. How about some of the other folks in some of the other action movies? No, it was just the Hunger Games sequel because, well, apparently the People's Choice Awards had to balance the scales with the same amount of men and women nominated. It doesn't end there. The action movie of the year. Yes, beating out Ant-Man and the Wasp, Fast X, Guardians 3, John Wick 4, Mission Impossible, The Marvels, and Transformers Rise of the Beast was once again, you guessed it, The Hunger Games. (laughs) This is part of the reason why the People's Choice Awards have become the laughing stock of the Hollywood award industry. It's basically a matter of anybody can vote for anything, anywhere, anytime, and not just once. Let me show you. Here's the official rules for the people's choice. And if you look at the way the voting works, it's very simple. You can go online to the website that they list between the dates of January 11th and January 19th. But on January 16th, they call Turbo Tuesday. Your votes count twice as much during that voting period. Fans can vote for one nominee per category per day during the official voting window. And fans during the turbo period can vote for one nominee per category subject to the limit. However, all votes submitted during the turbo window count as two votes. Maybe we should start doing federal elections that way too. Hell, the point with all this is, is that this voting can be heavily manipulated. This is a vote that is decided by Who can get the biggest group of friends to show up and just bang away at the keyboard religiously each and every day during the voting window? Hey, how many email addresses can you create in the next five minutes to do this? But who are the actual folks voting for the People's Choice Awards? Think about this. Probably almost nobody, if not nobody, 
watching this video voted in the People's Choice Awards. Let's take a look at the audience at the awards ceremony itself one more time. Being said, so many people made this movie. I just want to thank Francis Lawrence, our director. Marhefka won. Yeah, they probably want to rename this the 14 to 25 year old girls awards because that's basically what this looks like. But let's not forget that Hollywood studios engage in heavy social media manipulation. They all do. We've talked about this many times. All these Hollywood studios hire very expensive PR and advertising, marketing firms. Their job is to basically raise the social media specter of whatever these studios need them to do. And Disney seems to be one of the most prolific users of this system. But Valiant, wait, 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 wait. What does Disney have to do with The Hunger Games? That wasn't their movie. Well, you'd be right, but I think perhaps it may not be about the movie. It may be about Rachel Ziegler herself. So how then does Rachel Ziegler winning this award benefit Disney? Let's look at the list one more time. Disney has two distinct entries in this list of eight. Brie Larson from the Marvels and Chris Pratt from Guardians 3. The problem with those films is that they've already come and gone. And Brie Larson and Chris Pratt don't have anything on the radar for Disney coming down the road. But Valiant, The Hunger Games already released. It's been out for three months now. What does that matter? Well, it's not about The Hunger Games, like I said. It's about Rachel Ziegler. And Rachel Ziegler is primarily the biggest investment in a major capital expenditure by the Walt Disney Company that's due out next year. If you were the Walt Disney Company and you had already spent 200 some odd million dollars filming Snow White, a live action remake of it, starring Rachel Ziegler, who then stuck her foot in her mouth and effectively sank the production to the point that Disney had to pull it off of the release shelf and move it back one entire year for massive reshoots because they had to fix the things that audiences immediately and reflexively gagged at. Well, you might just want to raise the specter and the public sentiment of its principal character, Rachel Ziegler playing Snow White, as much as you possibly could. So as notorious as the People's Choice Awards are for being able to be manipulated by, say, bot farms and very expensive Madison Avenue PR firms, well, hmm, who would stand to benefit from having Rachel Ziegler inexplicably win this award? Well, that could be Disney. Well, we can't be sure, but something tells me that a certain rat might be involved. And, 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 and in that sense, you know, we just, we don't know. We're speculating, we're theorizing, but it could be. The Hunger Games had a decent box office run when compared to its production budget, as we discussed in previous live streams and videos. It certainly beat out Brie Larson and the Marvels, but it decisively did not beat out Chris Pratt and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And if you think about for a moment how that particular demographic of young women would tend to vote with action stars in particular, You'd be forgiven for thinking that, well, maybe they would prefer good looking guys doing guy stuff and vote for them. But maybe their votes weren't the only ones in there. Like I said, it's kind of hard to ignore the fact that Disney needed a big win with Rachel Ziegler personally to try to pull her out of the mess that she got herself in. So did Disney leverage some of its marketing firms to help cajole this vote in the right direction? I'm not sure, but Disney certainly seems to be, or at least they hope, one of the biggest benefactors. But if they're counting on this young female audience to show up in droves for a Rachel Ziegler Snow White, at least to the degree that they would need to overcome a massive production budget, particularly after reshoots with Snow White, that is probably going to be well north of $300 million, well, that audience so far hasn't been big enough to justify that. Just look at the box office for the Hunger Games or just ask Brie Larson and that box office for the Marvels. Make sure you're subscribed to Valiant Renegade and join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the live show.